The reduction and management of CO2 emissions is one of the key challenges of our time. CO2 utilization can play a major role to reduce the net CO2 emissions because CO2 can serve as a feedstock for chemicals, construction materials or even fuels. Technologies for these CO2 utilization pathways are becoming more and more mature now. The challenge is to bring these technologies to market now. What are the right business models and what are appropriate market and regulatory conditions? Key to success will be to integrate all different stakeholders along the CO2 value chain and across sectors, such as the technology providers and researchers, the processing industries and end customers, the startups but also established enterprises, and last but not least, the policymakers. This is why we have created CO2 Value Europe. We already have more than 40 members at the end of 2017 and that is a considerable number. In the near future, we want to attract even more members. And in addition, we want to join forces with other stakeholders for real impact. To sum up, carbon capture and utilization has the potential to become a major pillar in addressing the CO2 challenge. This requires first connecting all stakeholders along the value chain and across sectors. Second, developing the technologies into viable and scalable business models. If we succeed, CO2 Value Europe has the chance to literally change the world, including the perception of CO2 as a valuable feedstock.